Boom. It's your boy Oats coming back at you with another stream, baby. What's good, Cineki? Uh, today we are back again with Fallout. Um, you know, I got some sad news about this game and it's... I can't play the radio anymore, man. I wanted to like see if I could and try my best to kind of like you know like if, if I get like a copyright claim I would just remove that part of the stream right but I can't anymore because Twitch sent me an email saying like um that it's too dangerous you know they just like gave me a heads up that um cop they, they take copyright very very seriously as in the companies the companies the DA oh hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on get rid of the music holy shit did I yell loud enough? Holy shit! Okay, it's so dangerous to play any kind of music, man. Oof, what the fuck? Why is my controller so fucking weird? Did I invert this fucking thing? Okay, cool, cool. We are back in business. We're back in business, bruh. Now, um, let's see, what quest we gotta do? Man, I don't know if I have, uh, wait, let me check, do I have enough bullets? Okay, I got about, I don't know, like, 80 rifle ammo, and roughly about 40, 49. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, 49, like, um, pistol ammo. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm gonna, like, see if, like, uh, I can lower the music for, like, um, the ambient music. I think it's fine, right? You know what is funny? The ambient music and stuff, it kind of makes the game sound a little, little, little bit like a western. Howdy. It's me, Oats. Okay, let's see. What quest should we do? Uh, find Brian Wilkes' father. Okay, so where are we going? We're going to Grey Ditch. I can't fast travel there, so I'm going to walk there. Man, I just actually got back from my uh, walk this morning. Oh, what the fuck? Hey, yo! Where's their end? Shoot it! I ain't trying to waste my ammo on this fucking end. Yeah, kill it. Yo, how did the end even, like, get past this guy, man? What the fuck? Welcome to Megaton. Please stand clear of the Shit. I know this like old man wants like purified water, but I don't even know if I have any to give it to him. Yeah, I don't have any with me right now. Tough luck, old man. I see you later. So we're going to Grey Ditch. Apparently, like some kid told us like his dad was in trouble. And there were like ants all over the place. So we gonna go save his old man. But chances are his old man is probably dead. Because that's how life goes in the wasteland. Oh, what the fuck? Someone coming at me? Oh, this fucking robot. Okay, I gotta get closer. Shoot him in the dome. Eat it! Fucking Protectron. You ain't protecting shit. Okay, let me see if his body have any loot. Hey, howdy, neighbor. How you doing, Helix? Oh, what the fuck? Shit! Yo, why is there so many robots, man? Fuck. Okay, 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 okay. I'm out, I'm out. I don't want to fight. Wasting my bullets. 
Okay, fuck it. Why not I just kill them? I might get some EXP, you know? Shoot you in the head, you little bitch. Got your ass. What adventures are we on today? We are going to Greyditch to save some kid's dad from ants. I think his dad is more than likely dead. Oh, you can shoot his combat inhibitor. Can I even hit it? Oh fuck, he turned around. Oh, you love the end quest? Is it good? I can't... I, I, I can't really remember. The ant quest. Fuck you! Damn, this guy is tanky as shit, man. Oh fuck, I'm getting hit. Shoot him in the brain. Shit, enemies are so fucking tanky, man. I can't wait to get like the sniper rifle uh, perk. Bitch! Bitch! It's challenging? Fuck! I bet the ants are like fucking tanks. Look at that, my, he my health is almost like 50% already just fighting these stupid robots. And I still have to do that mission where Moira wants me to go to the Robco factory where you know that shit is going to be swarming in robots. Damn, it's like a whole different vibe playing this game with no music. You know, I don't know how you do it, Helix. I like having the radio on, you know, having like some uh, very cheerful 50s tunes. Man, it's pretty crazy you can actually see the Washington Monument from here and also the Capitol building. It's really nice. This was like the magic I've always felt about like um, OG Bethesda games, right? Like you can actually see something far away and you're like, Yo, maybe I can go there. Okay, where am I going right now? There's a building in front of me, but I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it takes you inside the metro. Sewer way station. Okay, so it's like basically where everyone shits and pee. You like listening to the ambiance? That that is actually like the authentic uh, Fallout experience. Because apparently, like the original Fallout One and Two, there is no radio. You only listen to the ambiance. Okay, I'm gonna go see what's inside the sewer. Oh, I can hear like fucking rat roaches. Back the fuck up, man. What the fuck? Red scorpion? Yo, why he ran away? Okay, let's see. Do they have any items in here? Okay, sugar bombs. Sugar bombs are great. Because I can, um... I can sell that to the guy that makes like, uh, what you call it? Ultra jet or something. Helix says correction, I like to hear the sound of brain and limbs flying so any music will cover it up. Oh, okay. I don't think it will cover it up. I think it just like lessens its impact. Wait, hold up. Eat it, roach. I only get one EXP. Oh, it's a teddy bear factory. Why does this teddy bear have a cigarette, a gun, and a grenade and a next to it? It's kind of funny. Fucking still hear the roaches. Ate it. Isn't it weird that this is like actually a teddy bear manufacturing place 
Is this teddy bear giving the other teddy bear a blowjob? Look at this. With alcohol next to it. Dude! Someone did this on purpose. At Bethesda. I don't even know if you can still snitch on them because like, uh, they probably don't work there anymore. Oh, this is a manhole to the county sewer mainline. I got the high ground Anakin. Ain't shit you can do about it. Oh, what the fuck? He can still get up here? Ow! Ow, 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 ow! Yeah, you can come here, right? Fucking hate the red scorpions, bro. I hate those fucking things, man. Okay, let's check the trash bin darts. Is this towards the wasteland? Oh, is it coming? Oh, shit! I fucking hate the red scorpions, man! Yeah, it is the true boss, man. What the fuck? Hey, why does my character sound like a girl? Every time I make a sound, it's like, eh. What the fuck? Yeah, I did it. Yeah, they got no weak points either. I think there's a bug because like my character is supposed to have a guy's voice, but he's like, eh. Every time I get hit, man, I'm supposed to like go like, ugh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can take this all day, yeah. And I'm like, eh, eh, ugh. I think it's a fucking bug, man. Eh. See where main like do I want to go inside here? Okay, fuck it. Let's just go. Maybe he's a girly man. Hell no. I would never ever do that shit. My dude is the manliest dude of all time. Oh fuck, fucking ghouls. Snake attack critical on goal. Shit, I was supposed to go to Greyditch. Now I'm on like some random quest. Oh, we got a dead mercenary. Why is there a dead mercenary over here? We got a generator here. Okay, that's a dead skeleton and 0.32 rounds. I'll take that. Man, where the fuck does this go? Oh, shit. <sighs> Shoot you in the brain, fool. Headshot. Oh, fuck. Dude, my health, my health, my health, my health, my health, my health. Okay, I gotta heal. Remember, like, the Valve, like, sound effect for, like, Half-Life 2? What's the sound effect again? Fuck you. Ow! Fucking bitch. Fucking feral ghouls, man. Yeah, now that I have to play- Oh, what the fuck? We getting jumped? Fuck, how did they know I'm here? Okay. Oh my god. Get away from me, you little bitch. Okay, wait. This guy got items. Get this guy's body out of the way. Bottle caps. Oh, this guy had grenades and bullets. I'll take that. A lot of dead people here. Cause you know sneaky sneaky, you're right. I don't have sneak. I'm trying to put more points into sneak. I'm I'm like the most charismatic, like unsneaky like 
guy in here. That is so weird. Why is there a fire hydrant in here? I guess like part of the road up, up there like collapsed into this tunnel. I really like the tunnel system in Fallout 3. It feels like... It really feels like a real world. <sighs> okay, one into each head. Very nice. Very professional. Uh, okay, this guy doesn't have any money. Blue pass card. This is the first time I'm seeing it. I've only seen the red pass card. Okay, let's see. How, how much more till I level up? Okay, I need like 400 points to level up. Oh, you like that sound, Helix? That ambiance. I wonder if the word ambiance is like a French word. Because I remember like, um, like in history, they actually say like, the French influence, like a big part of like um, America, back in the day, back in the 1920s. So words like liaison, rendezvous. You know, like, uh, what else? Like, renaissance, rouge. They were all actually French words. Okay, where is this going exactly? Fuck. Oh! What the fuck? I got fucking jump scare, man. What the fuck? The dude was like, Oh, you gained the Lord of Death perk. So what does that do? Fuck. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Well, what is the Lord of Death perk? You gain a damage bonus against everything because you like killing everything. Hells yeah. I likes that. What the fuck, man? I hate jump scares. Sure didn't miss them old jump scares. That wasn't... I wasn't scared. I was acting. I'm never scared. Ever. This is weird. It's like someone is using this place as like a... Oh, big book of signs. Water treatment status. System non-functional. Activate storage door. Do storage door activated. Purge sewage overflow. Aw, oh, thank you for the clip, Helix. Appreciate that. Though I can guarantee you I was never scared. I'm a very brave man. They hear like fucking zombies. Professional acting. You know, I I I've often fantasized of like receiving like the streamer of the year award and pretending I was surprised, like, oh, I did not expect this. <gasps> Why, thank you. Right? But, I don't know. You know, the thing is, I, like, what got me back into streaming was me realizing that I wouldn't, I, I probably am not ever gonna, like, make it. And just being okay with that. You know, a lot of people don't realize that their scripts in life have already been written. And the only choice you really have is the choice to see it through. Right? Like some people are never going to be famous or rich or successful or handsome like me. But the choice to actually see it through, right? Like just like go along with it, you know, and just like stream to absolutely the fucking void. The absolute silence and the shadows and nobody like watching your stream and being okay with it. And just like understanding like as much as you're probably not very lucky at like whatever you're doing right now, you're probably very lucky in other things. So like I think when I realized that, I was okay with coming back to stream. Because like, I think like everyone starts out streaming hoping that like eventually they'll make it. Like praying and hoping like, you know, you never know man, like uh, 
This could be it. I could be the one. But I think like a lot of things in life, whenever it comes to like success, there's a lot of luck at play. Are you at the right place at the right time? Even if you're like a really, really pretty girl. Like sometimes you don't get in you don't get the advantage because like people like um people will treat you differently. What the fuck? I can hear like fucking zombies everywhere. I love like one shot shotting them. It, it feels very satisfying. Not everyone can be dashy. Yeah, that's right. And even if you are dashy, think about this, right? So imagine you are someone like Dashi and you were born with the ability and the skills to entertain people, right? Like imagine you have all those things, but what if you were born in the wrong era? You were born in an era where there isn't streaming, there isn't video games. What then? You know, and all of a sudden you, you can't be popular, you can't be famous or anything. You can't be nothing because even if you were gifted, you were unfortunate enough to be born in the wrong era. So I think that's like the truth about life. Is sometimes you, you can't see like the end of the road. And sometimes the thing that you're doing is not gonna lead you anywhere. And the crazy thing is like, nobody taught us to be okay with that. Ow, oh, you fucking bitch. Ah! Stop hitting me! I think the number one thing you, that you know people should teach you in school or parents or the society should like even teach kids is to be okay with wherever they are. Because I think like society like kind of pressures pressures people too much like oh you gotta like fucking hustle you know what the fuck you don't have a fucking um a Lamborghini you don't have a you don't have like a, a, a million dollars in the bank or oh, you must be a loser you must be a brokey I think that's a very damaging mindset because I think the truth is like not everyone is meant to be rich not everyone is meant to be charismatic not everyone is meant to be you know like a uh, good with good with things and everyone is just essentially working with like whatever situation they've been put in. You know, I think it's like acceptance. So I had to accept like, you know, like maybe this is it. Maybe this is going to be the peak of my streaming career. Oh, appreciate that Helix. Because I used to, I used to fight against it a lot. I used to like think to myself like, oh, maybe I'm lazy. Maybe I'm not working hard enough. You know, maybe, um, maybe I don't have what it takes. Syndicate says, I don't want to be rich. That's a lie. That's a goddamn lie, bro. Everyone wants to be rich, but whether you can be or not, it's a different question. I think like some people are really like lucky to be born with the mindset of like um, oh I want to be rich or maybe they are unlucky if you think about it because like wanting to be rich has nothing to do with like fulfillment it's more like wanting to play a game that like you enjoy playing so for example right like some people like collecting uh, yo-yos and it brings them fulfillment. But some people like collecting money and that brings them fulfillment. So some people are lucky enough to be born with like the hobby of like wanting to collect money. But sometimes I I think like if something has to have the potential of bringing you a lot of joy, it also has have the potential of bringing you a lot of misery. Right? Like for example, right? Like if you really have a beautiful like sports car, you really feel really good about it. You feel really happy. But if anything happens to that car, the same amount of misery and like, like, like fucking sorrow, you will definitely feel. 
So I, I think that's that's the case in life. Whenever something makes you happy, understand that it'll also make you fucking miserable. Helix says I just don't want don't want to be poor. But you see, like being poor is also a mindset, right? Someone can have absolutely nothing, but they believe they have everything. I I I have a strong belief that like people here in Singapore can convince that they are poor, even if they're not. Because like all they have to do is just compare themselves with their friends and they'll feel like really poor. It's crazy, man. Um you know like I'm actually not originally from Singapore, right? But like one of the most common things I would hear people talk a lot here in Singapore is money. And I, I do agree, like money is really important and I think like you should work hard and you should like try to like do something with your life, right? And I, I am doing that. Like I'm actually doing like uh, freelance concept art, freelance illustration. I'm definitely paying my bills, right? I'm not I'm not just fucking fucking around and streaming all day, right? Like at night I do like do a little bit of hustle. But I think there's a limit to like um I think like Singaporeans have like they have checklists. They feel like they have to have like everything. They have to travel, they have to have like the fucking condo. They have to uh have like five kids. They have to have everything. And whenever they don't have as much as their friends, they feel poor and it makes them hustle even more. And the crazy thing about it is like Every time I meet new friends, they always like, I don't know, especially the guys, they talk about like, yo, uh, well, what's your job? Like, how much are you making? Like, uh, you know, I think like earning 80,000 80, a year is like not enough. You know, I got to earn a hundred thousand, you know, I'm like, okay. He looks says that's true. Generally, people are only happy if they're doing better than the people around them. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so too. I think you can literally be in like the upper bracket of wealth, but if everyone around you is doing better than you, you're not going to be happy. At least for most people, right? If you are like enlightened, if you're like kind of like you realize like, oh shit, actually, you know, I'm in the upper crust. And then you can feel like more grateful. Oh, this sewer great opens to the capital wasteland. Okay, let me see if I can get like, um, marker on my map oh fuck i'm getting reds yeah it's really hard in singapore man because like um i you know i actually spoke to a friend who was really upset that he couldn't travel and i was like why are you even upset about it and he said like because like people at his workplace were was talking about going to places right and so, like, for example, like, one of his colleagues uh, traveled to Italy. And, like, he's never... He, he, he hardly travels. So I asked my friend, right? Like, what do you know about Italy? Like, what is so cool about Italy? And, like, why do you feel left out? And the moment, like, he, ha he has to answer those questions is the moment he, like... He kind of didn't feel bad anymore. He was, like... Oh, you know what? I don't really give a fuck about Italy. But I just... But he felt like he, he was missing out. He was really sad, actually. You know? But I think that's like a... Oh my god! Fucking talent company! Okay, I gotta kill them. Shit, they're really tanky, man. Ow! He fucking threw a grenade! This guy is running at me with a baton. That's it. What an idiot. Yeah, I hate the talent mercs too, man. It's not like I, I created any enemies. I don't know why they are like attacking me. I think this is just Todd Howard's way of creating more excitement in the game. Ooh, that was beautiful. Did you read the bounty you got from them? Yeah, I did. It says like, oh, they hate me being a goody two-shoes. 
And that's why, like, you know, someone wants to get rid of me. Sometimes it would be, like, because you stole something from someone, right? And then that's why they have, like, the bounty, bounty hunters chasing after you. Like, I remember back in my original playthrough, like, years ago, uh, they, they had bounty hunters after me because, like, I was- I actually stole some stuff from Moriarty. Okay, I gotta put some points into Sneak. I don't know, maybe I need points in Science at least to hack into stuff. Okay, my Sneak is going to go up to 40. And then I'm gonna put one more point into... Guns. Can I say something about it? Yeah, just go for it, go for it. Like, I'm, I'm starting to be okay with, like, uh, spoilers. <laughs> yeah, go for it, let me know. Maybe there's something I can do that will reduce these bastards from fucking chasing. There is a plot behind the bounty. Holy shit, okay, wait. Okay, maybe you're right. I, maybe I didn't read it carefully. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go read it. But right now, I'm gonna like try to like um, trying to do my uh, my my uh, level up thing. Okay, so the next perk that I want is like I want to like carry more shit. Okay, wait. Do they have a perk for for mysterious stranger? Let's take a look. Mysterious Stranger. Oh, there it is. So to get this, you need like luck uh, six. You have gained your own personal guardian angel armed with a fully loaded 44. I think I want to get this next, but I think for right now, I want to like um, increase like my weight. So let's see. Uh, what is it called again? Is it called like strong bag right with the strong bag perk you can carry 50 more pounds of equipment yes i want to get this okay wait uh so let's see see i have a private contract kill oats boys and girls we have got ourselves another holier than thou white knight needs putting down here are the details the bounty is 1,000 caps this time around, and for a change of pace, they won the hit this time. So... Wait, I got level 10 with good karma. So that was the old note I got before, right? But I'm, I think maybe this time I might get a new note. Let's do a sneaker attacker. Ooh, this guy got a really nice helmet. Damn, this guy's really accurate. Okay, one more. Pow! Ooh, shoot him up. Kill enemies with guns. Okay, let's see. So, private contract, right? I got another private contract. I'm gonna read it. Okay, I don't see. I I don't get a, a new like like info on it. I think the private contract is the same as before. Yeah, it's the same as before. I think. Show active quest notes. Challenges. Oh, okay. So these are challenges. Oh, there's a lot of them. I bet there's something about like, um... You have to progress a bit more. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, let's combine some items. Save some space. Talon, Combat Armor, Reinforce. I like that. 
Okay, so like my weight has jumped up by 50, which is really nice. It used to be 220 max, now it's 270. I can carry more stuff. Okay, so we are heading towards Grey Ditch. My health is like 50%, but I don't want to like use the stim packs. If I can find a bed, I'm, I'm going to do that. One, one of my favorite things to do in Singapore is to actually people watch. I really love watching people as I'm eating or like as I'm doing something. Fuck, is there someone? I'm in the danger mode, but I see a town over there. Oh, I see the fire end. Fire end worker. People in Singapore don't really smile a lot. People in Singapore frown a lot. That's what I've noticed actually. Especially like ladies. The ladies have like a scowl on their faces. I don't understand why. I wonder if it's like something to do with like living in a very prosperous country. It's like people get more dis dissatisfied. What is it, mister? I've got to go. If you look around enough Okay, let's like let him hide in here. Oh, what the fuck? Ouch, 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 ouch. Where was the end? Holy shit, I didn't see this guy. Yeah, they got the resting bitch face. Like they say, no money, more problems. Oh, more money, more problems. Yeah, you're right. Wasn't it Jay-Z who said that? Shout out to Jay-Z and the greatest album, The Blueprint. Is there any food in here? Hova. Yeah, Singaporeans are really like um like very like uh like I don't know. I I'm I'm kind of generalizing, but like I don't know if this is the same in other countries, to be honest. Who's the greatest rapper of all time? It's really hard to say. Um, it's either like... Uh, I, I think like Kendrick Lamar is like probably taking the... Taking this the spot of the greatest rapper. But if I have to give it to someone that I like... Um, I don't know. I kind of like 90s rap. Like Anyone Biggie. Biggie the B.I.G. Notorious B.I.G. I think he's like really fucking good. Um, Tupac is really good, but I wouldn't say he's the greatest. Eminem could be the greatest. Easily. Because Eminem has like a, a certain like a uh, level to rap that... Oh, and he released a new video recently. Sin says Tupac and Slim Shady. Yeah, that sounds about right. But I don't know. It's really hard to say. I think like there, like I think like rap, there isn't like a definitive like Jordan esque character, right? Like when you talk about basketball, like the like the greatest of all time is definitely Jordan. Is there's no question about it. But when it comes to rap, I feel like the greatest have yet to come. The goat in b-ball is Kwame Brown. Kwame Brown. Let me tell you something about Kwame Brown. Man, Stephen A. Smith is so entertaining, man. But he's like super disrespectful. Super disrespectful. You know, you got to think about it. Like Kwame Brown wasn't actually that bad. Like, I think Kwame was in the league for a long time. If you are in the NBA for that long, it does it, it means you're not actually trash. I think the media is like a little bit overblown when it comes to like um, players sometimes. They, they want to like hate someone.
I wonder how much money did Kwame Brown made while playing. And I actually like when he came back and made a video against like all, all the haters. Okay, there's a shack here. I can lockpick this, but that would be like... I would be like breaking karma, but let me just open up. I've lost karma. I can't sleep on the bed. Dr. Lesko's password recording. Okay, I don't want the password because I want to like uh, hack the computer myself. You know, I like fantasizing about people's money, but I don't want to work as hard as them to get it. You know what I mean? And I guess that's why maybe, like, that's why the lottery is like so enticing to people. Okay, shit. I'm almost there. Uh, I need a bracket key. You know, I don't live very far away from... Um, the, a, a place where you can buy lottery tickets, right? In Singapore, they call them, like, they call the lottery the 4D, which is four digits. So you have to kind of, like, write down four digits that you think are going to win. And, like, everyone has their, have their own, like, method of getting the four digits, right? Like, if, if some people would see an accident on the road and they'd be like, oh, shit, you got to write down, like, the car number plate because, you know, that's probably the number that will win you the 4D. Right? Um, you know, shit like that. And, uh, I, you know, everyone have their own method to madness. And I used to, like, kind of look down at the people queuing up for 4D. You know, I used to think, like, if only they knew the odds of, like, winning. And then I realized that, you know, actually, in another life, that could have easily been me. I could have easily been, like, that dude, like, queuing up for, uh, you know, lottery tickets. And I, I started to learn not to judge as much and to like realize that, you know, not everyone has it so good. But uh, it's crazy, right? Like how unfair this life is. You know what I mean? Like even for rich people, you know, people, rich people are not rich for, for no reason. Like if you actually look at the history of every rich billionaire, including the ones that claim that they were self-made, you would realize that there's a lot of fuck shit going on. And a good example is like looking at the history of Bill Gates. You know, that dude likes to claim that he came from nothing, right? Like he built like Microsoft from the ground up. But if you actually go look at who his dad is, who his grandfather is, that dude comes from old money. Look at Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos have this romantic story like, oh, I started like a website to sell books. Jeff Bezos is a son of someone very, very important. Go look it up. You would shit your pants. Like even like Elon Musk. Elon Musk family control mines that mine for emeralds. Did you know that? It's bullshit if you believe that people are like, oh shit, oh that dude like came from nothing, man. And, you know, he hustled and he got his money right and, you know, he did the right thing. Nah, it's all bullshit, man. E even look at the one of the richest and most powerful families in, the, in America, like the Kennedys, right? They got their money from the Prohibition era where when liquor was banned. The Volstead Act, right? And they were like bootlegging alcohol. That's how they got their old money. Whenever a family has old money, that old man money is rarely clean. Helix says the government actually takes references from individual slice of life and the numbers that appear in their life for the 4D numbers. Oh, I didn't know that. Do you, do you play 4D? It's, it's sometimes kind of tempting, but like I try not to. Intruder. Fuck. Sometimes I'm too lazy to play this uh, hacking game the right way. I just want to guess. You know, what is crazy is like, if you guys look into Elon Musk's mom, 
his mom is into like um occult you know he had he had a girlfriend that was her name is Grimes she was also into the occult and in, in like in her music video like way before COVID happened her, her music video was kind of alluding to COVID like coming true look up Elon Musk's ex-girlfriend Grimes and look up his mom you only play 4D during Chinese New Year everyone plays 4D during Chinese New Year man Ooh, inform is like really close. Inform, maybe infected. Nice. Activate science robot pod empty. Science robot command command input personal loads. Where did I go wrong? Batch A27 is a complete failure. I must return to my original formulas and begin the process all over again. Perhaps the pressure of working in these conditions without proper laboratory equipment is to blame. Perhaps I simply simply didn't splice the correct genetic instructions or perhaps I am fatigued. Whatever the case may be, A27 is proving to be a disaster. I must introduce a new formula soon or I may not be alive to see my hypothesis come to fruition. Sample location discovered. I found a perfect specimen for my experiments inside the Marigold Station. I've set up shop underground for now while I prepare the experiment. All I need is a bit of last minute programming on my robot and it will be ready to perform the delicate injections. Soon I will pr prove to everyone that my formula is a viable alternative to the destruction of these misunderstood beings. Dangers. I rely I realize the dangers involved in tampering with nature. I've heard the rhetoric and the hoopla about playing God. However, I am determined to reduce these poor things back to their original state when they were harmless. Only through genetic record recording is this possible. All that is needed is a proper test subject. A sub a search continues as I tweak the formula. Cool. So we gotta like okay wait where does the quest say we have to go investigate the marigold metro station and remove the source of the fire ants okay i'll do that is there anything else i can loot from this place okay i'll take the duct tape okay, let's see what's in the metal box carton of cigarettes i can sell that i want to sleep on this bed but they're not letting me but I'm tickled pain. Oh man, I really miss miss the music in this game. Oh my god, there are ants inside. Deliver the bad news to Brian Wilkes. I found his dad. His dad is dead. Is there anything I can use? Okay. Okay, I'm using my vault, my pit boy light to light up this place a little bit. Okay, we got some stim packs. I'm going to check upstairs. Ooh, a damaged garden gnome. Got a teddy bear here. Okay, I'm gonna sleep an hour on this bed. Oh, we got pistol here. 0.32 rounds. It's 5 a.m. So I can see the sun like coming in, coming through a little bit. Okay, let's see what's in the metal box. Hockey mask and pre-war book. I'll take both. Man, so we gotta tell the kid, man, his dad got eaten alive by fucking ants. I guess we can probably tell him to go to Megaton or something. A lot of fucking ants. I hate ants, man. Is there any food in here? Poor dad, <laughs> yeah. Come on, tell me already. I think I have some bad news for you. 
Oh no. What happened? Um, Brian, I'm sorry, but your father is dead. He's... He's dead? I guess I already knew. Besides, I'm too tired to cry anymore. Um... I'm gonna see, I'll stop whatever started this, I promise you. You gotta stop it, so this can't happen to anyone else's family ever again. I wish I had met you a long time ago. And then maybe my dad would still be alive. Thanks for doing all this. I'm feeling better now that you're here. So, I gotta go. If you look around enough in Great Itch, you might find some useful stuff people left behind. Cool. Wow, the stars in the sky are really pretty. I added this mod to actually like uh, be uh, accurate to NASA's like uh, pictures of the sky. You know, the kid also said like across from where he lived, there was like another family. I should check their house. Brand this house. Okay, let's take the stim packs. There's no one here. Bobby pin, whiskey, wine. Baseball bat. I can hear Enclave music. Ooh, someone's computer is still working. Okay, I'm gonna hack this. Okay, four attempts. Let's start with the word deeper. One out of six. Prefer? Two out of six. Trade it. Shit. Come on. Okay, uh, what word? Dreams. Let's try dreams. Three out of six. Okay, dream, dreams. How about... Drawer? D-R-A-W-E-R. -E okay, maybe not. Dreams traded. We gotta find a word like dreams. Maybe drones? Oh, I'm a genius, baby. Okay, W. Brandis, personal notes. I can't believe I went through all that trouble to leave Navarro and make my way across the country just to get stuck in this shithole. I'll be damned if I'm going to die here. Now we are cut off from Lesko and Wilkes. I think we are on our own. The damn ants keep trying to find a way to get inside the house. Even as I was typing this, I can hear them scraping the walls looking for a way through. I don't know how much longer we can last. I'm going to find a better way to protect Sheila and Will from those ants. Ever since Lesko came to town, I'm certain they are getting more and more aggressive. Wasteland ants are bad enough, but at least you can run away from them. These would seem to pursue you to the ends of the earth if they could. Call me crazy, but I swear I saw one start a fire the other day. I don't know how this could have could be happening. I've decided to dig up my old sidearm and keep it hidden on me at all times. If those things get too close, I'll blast their antenna right off their ugly heads. These ants are becoming a real pain in the ass. So much so that I have to take a trip to Megaton and buy a better gun to protect my family. It cost me a small fortune. I had to trade every bit of ant meat I had collected, but it was worth it. I'm teaching Frank and Sheila to use it just in case something happens to me. If one of you two are reading this and I'm gone, I keep the gun in the kitchen behind the old fridge. Cool, I'm gonna check there. Some scientist named Lesko moves in with the Wilkes family across the street. They are helping him make some sort of structure on the old lot near the diner. Lesko offered to pay me in caps if I help, but I decline. I don't know who he's working for, but I don't think they're still looking for me. Our supplies are running low and I need to begin foraging for food and some better drinking water. 
I'd have an easier time if it wasn't for the damn ants. I swear they have a nest around here somewhere. I was scavenging for some of the nearby buildings for junk to sell and came across a working radio. No sooner did I turn it on that I heard the familiar patriotic anthems they used to play whenever Richardson would give a speech. But this was different. Who the hell is President Eden? When did that happen? Are they on this coast too? Most importantly, will they come looking for me? I hope this journey wasn't a huge mistake. I finally found a quiet place for my family. We've been running from one settlement to the next, just trying to keep out of sight. Now that I'm on the other coast, I feel much safer. The family across the way from us seems pretty decent. Their kid, kid Brian likes to play with my son, which is great. It's hard for Will to make friends because we haven't stayed in one place long enough. Maybe we've, we can finally put down some roots here in Grey Ditch. Cool. So this guy, this guy living here was running away from something. Oh fuck, I need like a lock 75 to open this. Shit. What is my lockpick? 52. Damn it, man. So apparently there's a gun behind the fridge. Oh, 9mm millimeter pistol. It's pretty trash. So we're gonna go kill like the ant nest. I think it's at the Marigold Metro Station. Okay, it's morning already. Nice. Ooh, the ants are coming in hot. Ooh, sweet. Mary Gold Station. Whoo, headshot. Okay, where the hell is... I have no idea where the Marigold Metro Station is. Yeah, but the ants are everywhere, bro. Boom. Oh shit, he's still alive. Okay, I think my gun is getting weaker. I should probably repair it. Okay, very nice. Okay, let me see. Is there, do I have any other gear I can maintain? Nope. Oh, I have a big book of science. Permanent science plus two. Okay, I'll read it. I think I see the metro station. So if I want to stop this whole thing, I got to go in and kill everybody. I kill everyone. Oh, fuck. Boom. I wonder if collecting the end parts is a good thing or not. Maybe I can make food. Let's see what's up here. Man. I was kind of hoping to find some ammunition like um, cans. Very nice. You have discovered Marigold Station. Cool.
I want to put points into my luck next time. So next time I'm going to do intensive training. Oh fuck. Mary Go Station. Okay, let me take a look in. Oh, I can see the end. Ouch. Ooh. Shoot it in the face. This another one. Okay, metal boxes, carton of cigarettes, pack of cigarettes. Oh, ammunition. Oh, mine box, frag mine. Cool. I recently been really addicted to um, Mexican food. I've always loved Mexican food, but like I've I've been like eating a lot of it, a lot of it. Like I've been eating like quesadilla, burrito bowls. There used to be um a really good like a uh, Mexican place, like uh, I could I could order delivery, but they they recently like vanished from my delivery app. It's called Cochinet Nero. They have this like really like delicious crunchy taquitos, which is so good. It's basi it basically look like cigar, uh, cigars, right? But they're really crispy. Yeah, we should go to Guzman the next time, man. I highly recommend their shredded beef brisket. It's so good. Oh fuck! Run, 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 run. <laughs> Guzman y Gomez. Fuck, this guy is so tanky. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Yeah, I, I love tacos, especially crunchy tacos. Tacos are not supposed to be, the, the authentic tacos are not supposed to be crunchy because it's just like the, the to tortilla, like, um, it's supposed to be soft. The tortillas are supposed to be soft, but I love the crunchy ones, man. Fuck, I think I'll have like some Mexican food for uh, lunch. Crunchy tacos are the goat. I think like fish tacos are really nice. But you know what I've also been, been addicted to? Nacho fries with beef, beef brisket on top of it. Something like um like a carne asada, right? Carne asada. Carne asada is like a, a is basically like a meat cooked in sauces and then you have fries be underneath it. You have like nacho cheese melted on top and you get the meat. Very delicious. Depends on the fish though. Yeah, it does. The one that you have in Guzman is uh, Baramundi. It's really nice. Baramundi fish. Ow! Ow! Fuck. I like my helmet. But I've been eating a lot of beef recently. You know, like I used to be kind of afraid of beef. Good Guzman fish taco are to die for, yeah. Yeah, they're really good. I think they, they taste like really fresh. That's why it tastes really good. 
I think like what makes like Mexican food so good is the combination of like flavors for everything. Oh my god, fire and warrior. These guys are fucking tough. Holy shit, these guys are really tough. I think like uh the spices especially in like uh Mexican food is makes it so delicious. Like paprika spices, like the red stuff they put on their fries. Man. You hate the fire and soldiers, they are tanks. Yo, they they have the fire and warriors. I think they're even soldier uh, stronger than the soldiers, right? Or maybe the soldiers are stronger and I haven't met the soldiers yet. Oh my god, how the fuck did this ant even made it inside here? Okay, run, 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 run. <laughs> Come here, boy. Let me shoot ya. It's warrior, right? The warrior are tough. Oh, who you got for uh, the, the NBA Finals though, Helix? I wanna know. Who you got? Did they announce the, the MVP this year already? The Mavs for sure, wow. Like uh, Mavs having two chips would be amazing. Fuck Celtics. <laughs> Damn. The hate is real. Have the hate for the Celtics for you been ever since like the, the Lakers lost to them the first time with Kobe? Was it since then? <laughs> you don't want Celtics to have more rings than the Lakers? Oh, okay. But they kind of, I don't know if they do, do they? How many rings do they- they have like- they have 11- wait, they have like 11 with like uh, Bill Russell, right? And then the Celtics won a few after that. It's on par now? Okay. Wow. Boston. Boston Celtics. Get some clam chad. 17 each. That's crazy. I think like um, Bill, like the the old like rivalry was with Bill Russell and Wilt Chamberlain, right? So Chamberlain was a Laker, I think. But I think Chamberlain only won like two or three championships. Yeah, I think Chamberlain only won two, and Bill like won like eleven or something crazy like that. But back then, like, there w wasn't, like, that many teams in the NBA. And, uh, I think, like, their season wasn't as long either. Yeah, then it was Magic and Bird. So, it, it was, it, it's always been, like, Lakers, Celtics. And now, like, the rivalry has kind of, like, spread out to the rest of the other teams. Mavs. Man, I don't know if I should feel happy for Kyrie Irving or should I like I kinda wanna hate Kyrie, but like I I can't I can't really hate him at the same time. I hate Kyrie for what he did to the Warriors. Right? When when he like uh fucking helps Cleveland nail the dagger for uh winning the championship for fucking the Queen. The the Brown James and you know like uh I wanna hate Kyrie, but when he does really well, I feel also really happy. I mean, he's been balling like crazy, bro. Kyrie is so good. I mean, like, everyone is really good. Like, uh, Donchick is really good. Kyrie is really good. Holy fuck. Oh, this one is the soldier. Oh my god, the soldiers are uh, fucking still tough. I heard a voice. Is it coming from here? 
Oh, you startled me. You startled me. You really mustn't creep up Why on hate Kyrie? He's like great. That. Because he fucking... He made the Warriors lose a chip. With his three-pointer. Hey, you're that egghead, I mean scientist the kid was talking about. Well, yes, I suppose I am. Uh, Dr. Weston Lesko's my name, and it's uh, good to make your acquaintance. Uh, what brings you to my little experimental ecosystem? Um... You call this a laboratory? I've chosen this room as a temporary retreat from which to contemplate my erroneous figures for my experiments. It may be a bit dark and damp, but such annoyances will not stand in the way of science! Uh, experiments? What do you mean? My experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain. Oh wait! I'm a scientist! How marvelous! My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. I intend to generationally reduce their immense stature by way of a pre-birth induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? Helix says the warriors did that to themselves for going after the 82 wins. Uh, no, it wasn't 82 wins. I think it was 73 win wins. They wanted to have one above the bulls. 82 is impossible, man. I think there's like only 82 games in the season. I don't know. Like, uh, you may be right, but I don't want to have accountability. I want to like hate. Hate is easier. Okay, Intelligence 7. Oh, I see. You're trying to make them small over time by injecting the eggs. My word, you understand perfectly. How marvelous. Um, can we skip the story and get to a solution? Oh my, I suppose I do tend to ramble on about all things academic. My problem right now is I can't reach my terminal to make the proper adjustments and repair the damage. Just like how you hate the Celtics? Yeah, I feel you, man. What can I do to help? Since you've offered, my portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. Uh, why not just kill the queen and be done with it? If I were to do that, months of data would be lost. No, no, the queen must remain completely unharmed. Your objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Mm, filthy little This is like a Skyrim quest. Just how will all this undo the mayhem you have caused? I've rigged the equipment at my portable terminal to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse. Once I send this pulse, all of the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy destroying each other in the process. So that's all there is to it. What do you say? Uh, speech 53. This is a hefty task, Doc. I'm gonna need some serious incentive. Why can't man follow oh, the man. ants' example? They require no... But I digress. If it's payment you need, all I can offer is one of my mutagenic bio-enhancers. Um, if you'll stop the ants from burning down Grey Ditch, I'm in. You will? How marvelous! Be careful, my friend. The Nest Guardians can be quite tenacious. Uh, okay. What do you know about Brian Wilkes? Far too curious. His incessant questioning would often come when I was the most absorbed with my calculations. He had no regard for the importance of my work. Can't you take responsibility for his father's death? All scientists take responsibility for their failures because it comes with the territory. I will take this experimentation to completion without roosting on the moral high ground. If I allow emotions to enter the mix, all this time and energy spent will have been for nothing. Don't you realize you have ruined his entire life? You have your ideals and I have mine. I'm down here to complete my experiments at any cost. If that means the loss of a few lives to save generations of lives in the future, it's a small price to pay. Uh, you should have at least told him you were alive. He thought he was alone. I can't risk leaving this place. I have to continue monitoring the hatchery for any further mutations in the next brood. I have no time for children and <laughs> petty games. What do they know about the importance of my work? 
Okay. Um. What else can you tell me about the fire ants? Well, the mutagen has enhanced their fortitude and provided them with what I call pyrosis, the ability to emit flame biologically. They're quite radiation-free, however. Well, as radiation-free as any other mutated creature in the wasteland. Uh, how did you go from changing their size to breathing fire? Playing with genetic codes isn't simple. Do you realize one tiny tweak at any point in the last million years could have completely changed us? Going from attempting to change their size to generating their pyrosis ability is no surprise at all. Uh, will anything special hurt the ants? I'm afraid they are not susceptible to anything I can think of that wouldn't harm the garden variety giant ant. Uh, just aim for their antennae if you can. It, it will confuse them quite a bit. Okay. How the heck can an ant breathe fire? The stimulation of the subject's evolutionary trigger by the mutagen caused a biodefensive reaction metamorphosing the ant's venom glands. This process caused unexpected oscillations in the venom molecules. <laughs> this is technically all bullshit. It produces a thermodynamic biochemical reaction. As the subject Oh my god, I'm going to skip that. My work is done, doctor. Please don't insult my intelligence. Now, I Okay, let's see. Does he have any stuff I can use? Okay, let me close the door. Save. Can I hack his computer without him knowing? Okay, September, one out of nine, belonging, four out of nine, reminding, six out of nine. Any bracket keys? Hmm. Shit. Okay, try again. Okay, four attempts. Uh, respect it. Two out of nine. Collect it. Three out of nine. Conduct it. Three out of nine. Shit. This is really tough. Any bracket keys? Shit, no bracket keys. Oh, there, there we have one. Dud removed, but it doesn't give me more, um... Dud remove. It doesn't give me more choices though. Because if I make one mistake, it's over. Okay, maybe I should find the bracket keys first and then, you know, try to solve the puzzle. Bracket keys, bracket keys. Hmm. Okay, let's just pick a word. Let's try releasers. One out of nine. 
Uh, repairing? Two out of nine. Deterrent. Five out of nine. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna load. I, I keep losing uh, too much um, fucking karma. Apparently it's like not like bad karma to take his bullets and gun. Okay, uh, convert it. Zero out of nine. Ferocious? Three out of nine. Ferocious. Healthier. Disagree. Ferocious. Red. No. Vade it. Two out of nine. Shit, this is really tough, man. Any bracket keys? Dud removed. But I don't get like a... Okay, bracket keys first. This is so tough, man. What the fuck? But I get like EXP if I hack this correctly, I guess. Okay, let's find bracket keys first. Okay, found one bracket key. That removed. That removed. Allowance replenish. Oh, I found another one. Dud removed. It's still pretty tough. Even with all the duds removed, I only have four attempts. Okay, let's try performed. Two out of nine. Conducted. Three out of nine. Convince? Oh my god. This is so tough. Even with all the duds removed, it's like super tough. Okay, let's remove the duds first. Okay, belonging. I'm not going to remove that, so I'm going to try wing it. Belonging. So I think I and G. Reminding. Three out of nine. Spreading. Fuck. This is like the hardest computer I've ever tried hacking. Because the words are really fucking long. Okay, that removed. Okay, mm. any more duds? That removed. That removed. 
Allowance replenished. Any more duds? Hmm. Okay, let's try honorable. One out of nine. Honorable. Uh, desperate? One out of nine. Okay, so generate is out. Wait, uh, let's try it. Dedicated is out. Convinced. Convinces is probably out. Automated. Automated. Automated might be correct. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's so tough. It's so fucking tough. Even like getting rid of all the duds and like at least like helping my like chances be better is like it's still so fucking difficult. Let's uh Okay, let's try with one first word first. Particles. One out of nine. Okay, let's see if we can find any duds. Allowance replenish. Okay, so particles. Catacombs. Two out of nine. That removed. Okay, particles is wrong. Catacombs is like two out of nine. Consisted. Okay, that's probably wrong. Countries, handcuffs. Maybe it's handcuffs. C U F F S. One out of nine. Conqueror? Oh my god, that was so fucking lucky, man. Holy shit. Unlock hatchery access door. Personal notes. Okay, back. Ooh, he got a motorcycle gas tank. I think that's just for crafting stuff. Anything else can I get? Doctor's bag. Okay, let's save. Okay, is this the way? Is this the hatchery door? Queen Anne's hatchery. Okay, wait, let me see. Uh, let me look at the quest again. Optional, do not harm the Anne Queen. Eliminate all five nest guardians from the Anne Queen's hatchery. Investigate, okay. So I gotta eliminate the guardians.
Okay, shoot him in the face. Okay, one out of five is dead. One out of five is dead. Okay, quick saves, quick saves, because this is really scary. Where are the other four? Okay, maybe I should shoot their antenna and let them go crazy a little bit. Okay, I should probably be shooting to kill. Okay, he frenzied. Oh, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh shit, dead end. Oh shit, dead end. I should have shot his head from the start, man, not the stupid antenna. Okay, so now three more end guardians are left. I can avoid shooting the queen, I guess. Yeah, I'm picking up the glowing mushrooms because I can probably cook something with it. Oh, run, run, run. Oh, a little too close. Boom. Okay, run, run, run. I think this should be the second last one. Nice. Uh oh, I'm down to... I don't have much ammo left. Okay, wait. Uh, I got it. I got one more guardian to eliminate. Oh shit. Okay, run, 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 run. Woo! Okay, chill, chill, chill. Don't move. Relax, my AP is coming back. Okay, shoot him in the head. Okay, we did it. All nest gardens are dead. Right? Okay, let's save. Okay, let's avoid killing the ant queen and let's see. Return to Dr. Lesko, okay. I can't squeeze through this thing.
I thought I was supposed to put something in in in, in its thing. Okay, quick saves. Okay, this computer is locked. I gotta hack it. Four attempts. Uh, let's try legendary. One out of nine. Okay, let's find any bracket keys. Any bracket keys. Dud removed. Okay. Dud removed. Uh... Okay, any other bracket keys? That removed. <clears throat> okay, so legendary only one word is correct, right? Otherwise... Strangers? Oh wow, that was a lucky guess, man. Shit, what should I do? Destroy the mutagen sample or synthesize new mutagen formula? Requires master cipher, send inhibitor pulse, pulse sending. Okay, I don't know if that worked. Ow, stop hurting me. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, this is a book, big book of science. Okay, is there anything I else I, I didn't take? Oh wait, what am I doing? Okay, anything else, anything else, anything else, anything else? I think there's like some some items on the floor. Okay, run, run, run. Ouch, ouch. Oh, my health. Okay. I'm almost dead, but I'm good. So we got to return to Dr. Lesko. But the cool thing is I did pick up some ammo. Can I repair? Okay, I think we should be good. So we didn't kill the queen, we did the pulse thingy. And I guess that should help. Maybe that it, it might make things worse, but who knows. I've detected some changes within the Queen's hatchery with my equipment. What's transpired? Uh, my work is done. Oh, how marvelous. Please, tell me what happened. Come now, the faster you tell me, the faster I can provide promised payment for your services. Uh, I kill all the nest guardians. Then I will proceed to my portable terminal at once and make the necessary changes to the formula. 
Thanks very much for everything. You've been quite a useful lab assistant. I'm ready for my mutagenic bio enhancer injection, doctor. How marvelous. Which injection did you want? Will it be the ant sight or ant might? Oh, shit. Um... And sight might be good for like um perception is great for uh what you call it for um shooting in vets I think. But physical strength is good for carrying stuff. I think I want perception. I want and sight. How marvelous! And sight it is. Hold still, please. Can I have both? Why can I not have both? You have granted the perception and flame resistance of the fire ants. Your perception is increased by one and you are now 25% resistant to fire. Cool. Yes, what did you need? What should I do about Brian Wilkes? You should take him away from this place. Find him a home. It would be difficult to accomplish my experiments with him scampering about <laughs> and asking an interminable amount of questions. Uh, cool. So what will you do now, Doctor? Well, I will continue my research. There has to be a way to reduce these creatures to their former size. Until then, I will be staying in my shack next to the Wilkes' home should you ever wish to visit me. I gotta go. Much to do. Can I sleep on his bed? No, I can't. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go. I don't have any more bullets, do I? Okay. Okay, let's get out of here. Man, I really miss the Galaxy News Radio music. Kind of like becomes more entertaining like once you have nothing to do and you want to like hear listen to something and it just gels with the whole vibe like when i watched the amazon fallout tv show and he played all the exact same music from the game it felt really good okay wait where do i where do i go ba -da -da. Wait, do I go here? Okay, I don't want to fuck around with these guys, so I'll go this way. I don't know what ammo I'm using right now. Let me check. Uh, I'm using, I think piercing. Is it this way? Fuck, I really can't remember. I guess I've been here before since these ants are dead. Yeah, I think it's this way. I remember this room. Yep. Made my way out. So, I gotta go see Brian Wilkes and tell him to go someplace, I guess. Okay, I'm going to try to find a bed to sleep in because I don't want to spend any more stim packs. But I got to try to like go everywhere and find as, um, as much ammo as I can. Okay, I think like Brian Wilt should still be in that thing over there. 
I think next we're going to head back to Megaton and I'm going to like uh, buy some more air ammo. Whoa, sure is hot in here. It was so weird. All of a sudden, the ants went nuts and started fighting each other. It was like they were totally crazy. It was really scary, but kind of cool at the same time. You know what I mean? Um, yep, it was all me. I wish I had something to give you for all the work you did. But I never really had much to start with. I guess now you'll be on your way, and I'll have to try living here by myself. I hope you'll come back and visit someday. Um, I can't leave you here alone. Let me find you a place to live. Really? You mean it? Oh boy, thank you so much. I'll wait in my old house for you to come back. I need to bury my papa anyway. Just don't forget about me. Okay, I'll f uh, any idea where I can look for someone to take care of you? Well, papa always told me about my cousin Vera. She lives in some big giant oh, ship Rivet somewhere. Oh, Rivet City. Papa called the place Rivet City, but I don't know where it is. Okay, I gotta go. I wish I was tough like you. I wish I was tough as me too. Later, kid. Okay, let's go back to Megaton. And I'm gonna go shopping. So I'm gonna try to buy some ammo from uh, Moira and also everyone else. I think the first thing I want to do is go back to my place and see if I can repair some of my stuff. But I should probably start selling some of my weapons that I don't use. Aid. Let's see, did I have any aid? Ant meat? Okay, I, I'm going to read the big book of science. To permanently increase my science by plus two. Blood pack. Uh, crispy squirrel beets, crunchy mud fruit, dirty water, doctor's bag, dog meat, growing, glowing human flesh. I have human flesh. Nuka cola, nuka quantum, pork and beans, purified water, red roach meat. I should probably take a purified water with me to give to the the bagger guy outside. Okay. Let me let me ask uh, Weds were for a uh, purified water. Good morning, sir. What can I do for you? Uh I like something to drink. Certainly, sir. Here you are. Cool. Tell me a joke. Law does not determine who is right, only who is left. Nice. I like that one. You okay, let's see. Oh, I'm a very good person. Dignitary. Uh, apparel, hockey mask. Okay, I have like some co talent combat armor. Okay, let's see. Talon combat armor reinforced. Okay, let's see if we can combine them. Oh, this one is maxed out. Oh, this is also maxed out. DT twelve. My armor is DT-10. DR-36. DR-32. Hmm, weight is lesser though. DT-12. DT-10. Yeah, I don't know about heavy armor. Should I wear the reinforced armor? The combat talent reinforced armor? 
It's medium armor though. Okay, helmet is DR5. I think I'm gonna wear the Talon uh, armor. Then I'll keep the rest in my, my file. Okay, anything can I keep in here? Miscellaneous. Okay, Brahmin Skull. Carton of Cigarettes I'm gonna sell. Duct tape, empty syringe, fission battery. Motorcycle gas tank, pack of cigarettes I'm gonna sell, paint gun, pilot light, pre-war book, pre-war money. Rat scorpion poison tail, scrap electronics, scrap metal. Okay, cool. I think I'm pretty good for now. Okay, weapons wise, let's take out all the 32 pistol stuff. Okay, let's repair. Okay, so I have like a gun that is kind of maxed out. Okay, silence point two two pistol. I think I have Chinese pistol also. Let's see Chinese pistol. Oh, this one is also maxed out. It's nine millimeter bullets. Damage is nine. Frag grenades. Frag mine. Do I have another hunt hunting shotgun? Nine millimeter pistol. Oh wait, I forgot to repair my thirty-two rifle. So damage is thirty-one DPS. Damage eleven. Damage seventeen. Mm, I got. Do I have like another Varmin rifle in my? No, I don't have another Varmin rifle. Silence point two two pistol pulse mine. Police baton hunting shotgun baseball bat. Okay, let's see if we have any extras. So police baton, I got a few I can repair. You know what? I'm gonna leave the, these unrepaired. You know what? Maybe I should sell all my police baton. Because I'm not gonna use it ever to um make a melee weapon, right? Spike knuckles, I'm gonna sell that. Straight razor, tire iron. So anything that is like uh, melee, I'm gonna sell. Pull Q, I'll sell. Power fist, I'm gonna keep because it looks cool. Nail board, I'll sell. Lead pipe, knife, hatchet, cleaver, combat knife. Chinese officer sword, I might wanna keep. I think like some of these you can craft them into really cool items so maybe selling them would be a bad idea. Yeah, you know what? Let's not let's not get hasty. I'm not going to sell. Or maybe I'll sell one or two. So spike knuckles is Damn, I don't know. Maybe you can make that into something. Paul's grenade. EMP bonus damage versus robots power armor.
Okay, I think I'm good for now. I'm gonna sleep until uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Until nine a.m. Okay, let me re-evaluate. I gotta sell something, man. I gotta make money. Can I repair the vault, uh, armored vault jumpsuit? Let me repair it with my old jumpsuits. Oh, I can't repair it. Shit. Okay, let's see. Uh Oh, I can sell the golf club, I guess. I can also repair the 9mm pistol. Okay, let's repair a few things first. Okay, the baseball bat is maxed out. I can't... Maybe I'll keep one of the fully repaired one and I'll sell the one that is not fully repaired. I'll sell the 9 iron. Okay, anything else can I sell? Cleaver, maybe I should sell the cleaver. Combat knife is expensive. Lead pipe, I'll sell the lead pipe maybe. I'll sell the nail board. Okay, maybe I'll sell all the extra police baton. Okay, I'll go sell right now. Ooh, I really like my armor. <laughs> okay, let's go to Moira. And then I'm probably gonna head towards... um, What you call that? The, the underworld. I'm going to the underworld to buy ammo. with any interest okay let's sell so first thing let's sell nine iron baseball bat lead pipe nail board police baton uh carton of cigarettes damn this bitch got lots of caps man she got 900 caps this bitch is rolling in money man I guess I can probably sell ammo that I don't even use, but maybe that's for later. Okay, does she sell any ammo? That's weird, she doesn't sell any more ammo today. Yeah, it's so weird. She uses she usually sells like lots of ammo. Good hunting. Okay. Can I hotkey this? Okay, I'm going to the underworld. So I think that's the Museum of History, right? Okay. 
Okay, so museum of history and then we gotta buy at... I think it's called like a uh, something outfitters. It's like a clothing store but they also sell like lots of weapons. Maybe I should try to discover Rivet City as soon as possible also. I think it's called Underworld Outfitters. You came back. Do you need something? Yes, I need lots of bullets. Okay, 0 0.308 rounds. This is for sniper. 0.32 rounds. Okay, she sells 0.44. This is for the Lincoln Repeater. Ammo. Special round. Damn, they're so expensive, man. Yeah, basically all my caps, man. All my caps is going to this place. Oh, she sells a missile. One missile is 68 bucks. That's crazy. Another satisfied customer. See ya. Does she sell any upgrades? Let's see. I've got just the thing for you. Okay, miscellaneous, right? Increase ammunition capacity plus six Chinese pistol extended magazine. Okay, I'll buy that just for fun. Grenade rifle long barrel infiltrator tactical stock. Power Fist Chrome Tubes, Ripper, Varmin Rifle Night Scope. But that's for Varmin. Varmins are like, the Varmin Rifle probably doesn't even do that much. Another satisfied custom. Gotta go. Okay, where else should we go? I think getting out of this place might be a little tough because there's going to be super mutants everywhere. Okay, quick saves. Okay, I think we're fine. Uh, let's see. Um... I'm going to go back to... Uh... Let's see, should I go back? Let, let, let me take a look at the quests. Find a home for Brian Wilkes. Ask the people of Big Town about their captured friends. Gain entrance to Rivet City. Okay, I'm gonna go to Rivet City first. Okay, I'm a fast travel to Museum of Technology. Oh fuck. Maybe that was a bad idea. Can I load? Fuck, how do we get to River Rivet City? It's pretty tough to get there. Okay, let's start from the maybe the Washington Monument. Oh shit. Hey boys, you handle this shit. If they kill the Brotherhood of Steel, I'm stealing their armor. Hey, I'm not helping them. I got ammo to, uh, to keep. Can I loot the... Nice. Q 
kill it already. Okay, that guy is super heavy up. Kill him. If you guys die, I'm gonna steal your armor. Okay, this guy is almost dead. Come on, kill it. Shit, do I have to fucking do everything myself? Dude, why are they shooting at me? What the fuck? Why the fuck are they shooting at me? That's insane. Hostile detected. Commencing attack. Where? Okay, you guys are on your own. I'm trying to get to Rivet City. Okay, where does this go? Oh, this goes to the Museum of History. Nice. One more for the brother. Sick. Okay, uh let's see. It's kind of strange. My marker is telling me to go like here. But I don't know why the Museum of History is my marker. Okay, let me save. This should be the way. Right? Oh no, this is like a dead end. Shit, I have no idea how to get to Rivet City. That doesn't make sense. Gain entrance to Rivet City, how? Okay, I gotta go get I gotta get chat GPT. Uh how do I get entrance to Rivet City? Travel to Rivet City is a southeastern approach the bridge, but how? I don't know how to get to Rivet City. Do I have to go to Marigold Station first? Wait, where's the other uh, guy? Oh, right here. Shh. 
shit. I don't know how to... He keeps saying like go here according to the dotted line. Okay, let me let me like ask chat GPT again. What is the quickest path to Rivet City? Start at Megaton, assuming you start from Megaton, head towards the southern east part of the map. For, use your pit bar to navigate using the main roads. You want to head towards the Potomac River and follow it south. Enter the metro, enter the metro station. Exit the metro station, hit directly south, crossing the bridge over the Potomac River. Oh. So let, let me take a look. So there's a river I'm supposed to cross. Hmm. Potomac River. Okay, wait, let me see again. Uh, past landmark super duper mark Duco's place. And near Kostya crossing metro station. Okay, let me head to the super duper mart first. Okay, so we just keep heading south, right? I wonder what my radiation is like right now. My radiation is at 190. Okay, let's use some mat. Let's use some like a uh, rat away. A radi radiation still at 30. Okay, zero radiation. Oh, fucking super mutants, man. Should I kill the super mutant? I think he's dead. Oh shit. Raider is shooting at me. Ouch! Okay, let me take their loot. Ouch! How the fuck are they still hitting me, man? Grandma Sparkle. The last time I was here, I, I think I saw her swimming across the fucking river, man. Oh, there she is. She's running. She's running away. I don't know why she's running away. Why is she running away? Why? What did I do? Yeah, why are you running? Why are you running? I don't get her. She's like afraid of me for some reason. Whatever, bitch. Yo, uh, Helix, do you remember how did you walk to Rivet City? Because I don't know how to go there. Okay, 
Can I like... Okay, maybe I should go towards Marigold Station. You need to walk from the city. Oh, what the fuck? Fuck these guys again. But wait, what city I, do I need to walk for? Oh my god. Yeah, wait, wait, which city you have to walk from? Isn't there like one more guy? You can't walk the edge of DC. Oh. The Oh, the edge of DC. Wait. Are you talking about here? Like, okay, so he, I, I walk along the edge here all the way to Rivet, right? So do I start from the Tepid Sewer? Oh shit. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Thank you. Okay, wait, isn't there, wait, wasn't there another, like, uh, guy? There he is. <coughs> Ouch, motherfucker, man. Fucking talent. Ouch, what the fuck? Nice. Holy shit. Okay, I'm gonna repair my gear. Nice, I got so much extra parts. Nice, I'm happy with that. I got a lot of extra parts. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow uh, Helix advice. I'm gonna walk from Tepid Sewers. I'm gonna walk around along the edge of DC to Rivet City. Okay, so I'm gonna walk along this edge. I should probably save first. I remember finding a death claw around here. The, a death claw, an injured death claw, was chasing some uh, civilians. Oh, I think this is. This might be Dukov's place. It's a long walk. I got you. I got you. I kind of like it though. Oh, there are enemies on the map. Might be raiders. Okay, I might need to heal. Holy shit, raider. Okay, I'm kind of running out of ammo. Raiders are much easier to fight than compared with the Talon Company. Nice. Did they all run away?
Oh shit. <laughs> nice. Wow, look at the loot. The loot is crazy, man. Wow, look at all their food stuff. Buff out. Can I sleep on their bed so I don't have to heal? Okay, let's combine some of their stuff because I think I might get be getting heavier. Ooh, stim pack, super stim pack. Red X. Duck and cover book. Is that a permanent stat boost? Permanent explosives plus two, nice. Jet. I'm gonna sleep until morning. So let's sleep for 10 hours. Okay, oh, ammunition box, 12 gauge round, mantats. Okay, more ammunition, 10 millimeter round, psycho. Okay, quick saves. Okay, let me check the map. So I'm still along the edge of the map of DC. I'm following the river. Oh shit. Is that a friendly? I think that's a friendly. I think it's probably a merchant. What do you need? Uh, you have anything for sale? A few odds and ends. Okay, I can sell some of my useless shit. Uh, I'm gonna sell. Okay, I'm gonna combine the raider's armor first before I sell. Talon combat armor. Okay. Let's sell. What do you need? Uh let's see what you got for sale. I'm gonna sell Blastmaster armor for a hundred caps. Helmet. I'm gonna keep the Talon combat sh stuff because I want to like repair my s my weapons. Assault carbine, I want to bring back home. Some of these weapons is are good. Okay, does she have any ammo? Okay, let me check her miscellaneous just in case she got any weapon upgrades. No, she doesn't. 0.308, this is for sniper, I'm gonna buy. Yeah, she doesn't have much stuff. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Okay, I gotta go. Yeah. Can I unlock her ammunition? I'm gonna save. I wonder what she got in here. She doesn't have shit inside this ammunition box. The hell? Okay, I'm out. Let's just keep following the river down south. Fuck, I see a centaur.
Ooh, nice hit. Oh, uh, I'm running out of bullets. Okay, he's dead. I think there's like one more centaur, right? Centaur blood. Is there another centaur? Oh, I see a super mutant. Fuck, this is hard. <laughs> Getting to Rivet City is pretty tough, man. Hey, enjoy your lunch, Helix. I'm gonna I'm get lunch soon also. Nice. Centaur down. Fuck, can I avoid the super mutants? I'm just gonna run past them. Ouch! I'm just running past them. Fuck them. I'll come back and beat your ass another time. But I'm, I'm kind of running low on bullets, man. Okay, just keep following the fucking river. Crunchy mud fruit. Whoa, look at the river, man. I actually have a mod that makes the clouds slightly dynamic. So the clouds are actually moving. Oh, that's a really long bridge. I sure hope there ain't no traps on this bridge. But I'm just gonna run on this thing. <laughs> just in case. Wait. So is this... I don't know what this is. Fuck. Fuck. Fucking... Super mutants. Headshot. <laughs> nice. What you got? He got assault rifle and he isn't even using it. Nice. These guys are not that hard anymore. I wonder if I can cut through Rivet City through here. But I might as well get this place as a shortcut. Jefferson Memorial. Like Thomas Jefferson? Gift shop. <laughs> Oh shit, I see more super mutants. Uh oh. Oh, that's bad. Nice. Oh shit. Can I shoot his arm? Ah! 
Oh, I hope I don't fall into the water. Ouch. Nice. Okay, let's not pick up the- make sure we don't pick up the sledgehammer. Oh, you can actually go from the Jefferson Memorial to Rivet City. I think I do see Rivet City from here. Okay, can I repair my armor? Okay, my armor is still looking pretty good, so let's keep it as it is. Okay, I think there's another super mutant here. Hey, shot. Nice. Juicy. Oh my god, this place is fucking swarming with super mutants, man. Nice. Okay, 32 rifle. Fuck, I'm out of here. Oh, I might have to, I might have to cross this. Oh, I can see Rivet City. Oh shit, I killed him? Without vets? That's pretty sick. I think like doing that end quest was pretty cool because you get the, the end sight thing. So your perception is plus one. Oh, I headshot at this guy. No scope. No vets. Okay, I can't wait to get inside Rivet City where it's safe. Okay, I'm pretty low on ammo. Rivet City. Okay, quick saves. The statue is really cool. It's like the Vitruvian Man. You have discovered Rivet City. Hell yeah. So how we finna do this? Yo, why is this guy running away from me? Yo, chill, man. Dude, what the fuck? He ran away from me. Welcome to Rivet City. Please <laughs> wait while the bridge extends. Shit. I really don't get it. I'm a super nice guy. Like, if you look at my stats, I'm a dignitary. I'm really- I'm very good at poison. Damn, what a cool location. Oh, is that a female guard? Oh wait. I see an ammunition box here. Nice, free ammo. Free stim packs. Ooh, look at that, they even got a plane. Sad you can't ride it though. Shit, how do I get back up there?
Damn, this is like the safest place in the whole of the wasteland. Not even Megaton is as secure as Rivet City. What is this? Oh, motorcycle tank. I'll take that. Handbrake. Whoa, look at all the planes on this boat thingy. I think this is like a aircraft carrier, right? Bridge tower. I'm on duty. Make it quick. Um I'm tracking down a guy named Pinkerton. Do you know where I can find him? Don't you believe the rumors? His ghost is certainly not haunting the bow of the ship. Now if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. I'm kind of lost, can you help me? I suppose. Uh, yeah, I'm good for now. Who's in charge around here? Depends. Chief Harkness is in charge of security. He patrols the whole city. Security bunks down in the tower. Dr. Lee kind of runs everything else. She's in the aft. That's the northeast end of the city. What can you tell me about Dr. Lee? She's some sort of genius. You know, one of those egghead scientist types. Her lab is in the stern end of the ship. I'd like to report someone. Oh, really? If someone took your stuff, go get it back. If they shoot at you, shoot back. Otherwise, I've got to see it for myself before I'm going to do anything. <laughs> Later, bitch. Oh, marketplace is this way. I guess we made our, cell, our way into uh, Rivet City. Ooh, cool. So, yeah, we're here. Gate, bridge, marketplace. I'm on duty. Make it quick. I'm good. Rivet City Market. Okay, I'm gonna save. I think this is where I'm gonna call it for today's stream, guys. I'm gonna go grab some lunch. It's almost like uh, 12.30. It's about 12.30. So, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I won't be streaming tomorrow because I got some errands to run, but I'll be back day after tomorrow. So, um, yeah, take it easy, guys. Good looking out. Thanks for watching. And, oh, follow if you're on Twitch and subscribe if you're on YouTube. I really appreciate that. Thanks. Peace.